go. Welcome back to Let's Play God of War. I'm Burning Dog Face, and we're here in the Northree stronghold. Where, uh, this strange family drama of the bandits keeps taking odd twists and turns. Where to next? Increased my rage somehow. <laughs> YouTube Shorts keeps trying to show me, uh, bits from God of War Ragnarok lately. I always go, uh, scroll away immediately. I don't want any spoilers or anything. The very first second of one of them, though, was uh, Atreus saying, Father. And I gotta say, sounds like it's been four years. <laughs> Actually, I heard that the, uh... There sure is a lot to see here. That they had to pitch shift a few of uh, Atreus' lines because the actor was uh, starting to go through puberty as they were uh, recording, <laughs> as I understand it. I suppose I never considered that particular headache of working with, uh, you know, child actors. Yoink! That he puts it down every time. There's something down there. It's a cabinet dropped in newspaper. That's weird. A Sindri. Guess what priceless artifact we got? Oh yes, before I actually hand it over. Um. Oh, yeah, there it was, North Randry Stone. Huh. I thought it would be over here. Well, butts. It's not in here, is it? No, I suppose it isn't. Can't stop thinking of this Reaver killed his own father. Why are people so greedy sometimes? At least we found the whetstone Sindri wanted. I wonder what he'll, what he'll make us. I wonder what he'll make us with it once he finishes cleaning the blood off. Looks like we found the son of the Reaver spirit we met back at Fafnir's storeroom. Looks like the son's mutiny led to another mutiny in the end. I guess he had it coming, but it's still a little sad. Back to the boat now to bring Sindri his whetstone. We found a wrecked Reaver ship, and it looks like things didn't end well for them. We should get down there and take a closer look. Oops. What was this place? We haven't found so much before besides corrupted reavers. We should go deeper into the stronghold. Looks like these reavers are just as paranoid as Fafnir. It's a giant metal grate blocking our path. Maybe we can open it using the giant water wheel. You didn't happen to find the whetstone, perchance. We found your whetstone. Oh! Wonderful! This staining is unusual. The Reavers used it to smash another Reaver's face in. Oh. Wonderful. Here. For your trouble. Krasla Farmer's Grip. Legendary Axe I can't ball. wait to test out the new whetstone. It may not look like much, but it's practically humming with magic. I've needed a new one after my brother borrowed the last one. I saw him spit on it. To lube it up, he said. I didn't ask for it back. 
Low perk activation chance to grant a health burst and any successful axe hit. Hot damn! Oh, but everything is shite. Oh no, that's right, I can upgrade this though. Oh! Oh, it's dripping with blood or poison or something. That's kind of awesome. And gross. Why would he have that? Oof, those stats are not great. On the other hand, it already matches luck, so... What if I just immediately upgrade that? Okay, I'm standing right here. Let's get to it. Oh, an oblivion stone. All right, all right. Just looking at it. Oh, uh, let's do that. Done. Uh, you see my brother again? You just tell him to keep his fiddlers off my axe. What? And the other Oblivion Stone, of course. I guess it is what they said they were for, huh? Upgrading pommels. Criminy! I can't even tell if it's gonna be... Mm. Oh, I don't know. I don't like throwing Oblivion Stones at things, and I can't even tell. Be seeing ya! Uh, this, and... Which one was it? It was, uh... That's right with the Executioner's Cleave. Shit. It's still better, and I'd have to upgrade it further to actually see if it's... Well, we will see. What the hell? I will save the game manually, and we will... figure something out. To work we go. Well, that does remind me of a thing I wanted to show you guys. I discovered after uh, getting the Blades of Chaos the other session. Ah! Oh, the pain! Thank you. Okay, 18 luck is pretty good. The other stats still aren't quite up to the other one, but fuck it. Oh, look at the drips even work when it's pointing the other way. Huh. Sure, at this point, why the fuck not? So sharp, so, so sharp. Let me just check the waste armor. Heavily reinforced armor favoring defense, you say. Could use more vitality. I am surprised to see Belt of the Ancients way down here. I have to admit that. Resistance to all elemental damage, which is apparently just ice, fire, and poison. Gross. Okay, this looks gnarly, so why don't we try this? Yes. War Belt of the Traveler, reinforced with battle-hardened metal scraps from the White Traveler's armor, increases vitality for warriors strong enough to wear it. That looks amazing. It is pretty baller. My junk is protected. And how much does that cost to upgrade? Yeah, I had a feeling that would be a, an issue. Fortunately, it does still have a the get you. slot on it. Wait. Oh no, I go into the slot first, and then I go here. Perfect. Ah, there it is. Good. What the? Do 
Come on, I'm standing right here right now. Uh, for you? right, okay. What do I need for this? Hardened steel and more and more hack silver. And we're back to you. You don't need to make excuses to say hello. Aww. Shucks. Okay, let me see here. I think at the moment I'll, uh... Oh, I, I didn't see that word. De Deus Ex Malachite. Nice. As opposed to Deus Ex Machina. Uh, yes, that's right. This one. Actually, this should be really fair. This should be fairly straightforward, I think. There's a portal over there. Let's give that a try. We found a scroll written by the son of the spirit who was stabbed in the back. Or in his back. His son actually felt really bad about what he did, and it ended up costing him his life. That spirit was still stuck in this realm. Maybe we should go tell him about this and see if he can find some peace. <laughs> Sorry, Sindri. This method of dimensional travel must seem really, really in inefficient to the dwarves. So you can just go wherever the fuck they want, apparently. Hey, if I'm a god, maybe I can fly. No, no! Gods too must stay on the path, I promise you. So what do you think, Mimir? What does Baldur want with us? Well, let's look at what we know. Baldur is Odin's finest tracker, bar none. If he wants you, you have to consider the possibility that Odin wants you. And as for what Odin wants, on this I have some expertise. What could we have that Odin doesn't? He's like the king of gods. Of the Aesir, aye. But his reach is not unlimited. And where he cannot reach, he is preoccupied with going. He certainly tortured me enough about it over the years. Baldur and Odin. Mimir thinks Baldur is tracking us for Odin, who wants to go where he cannot reach. But we can? Um. What, Greece? He must be thinking of Jotunheim. It's the only place Yo Odin can't go. I mean, all those other disabled towers were specifically mentioned to me because of Odin. Yeah, he's already here, man. I wonder why those jars are back. More importantly, I wonder if there's treasure in them. Because if there's actually unlimited money in this game, that changes everything about the store, doesn't it? I'm going in the wrong direction. Surely this is the wrong way. Uh, no, I guess not. I thought that that uh, waypoint was actually deep inside the place, but whatever. I give you a wide berth. I'm pretty sure I could take it, I'm just saying. It's not why we're here. No hmm. way. Now where do we go from here? No way. I know it was this one. Oh, right! Yes, yes, yes. We did see this one. Eternal Frost. Unmeltable ice in the furthest reaches of hell, used to upgrade pommels with frost damage effects, found in treasure map caches. But also, an Eye of Runic Mastery, taking damage during a runic attack, reduces damage taken by 15%, stacks up to 50% max. Uh, I was hoping that I actually made me invincible, but it was hard to tell. Let's go equip that. Was that one of these? Fuck, what was it? No, no. What am I missing? Uh... Armor! That's right, I forgot to put it 
take that off. Oh, I see, yeah. Uh, oh, no, I thought that was a fuck. Um, hmm. <laughs> well, I guess this one's the least exciting one. What is this? Symbol of bounty? Just stats. Okay. Yeah, sure. I don't know how this is going to go, honestly. Good news! Your son is dead! When did I take damage? Oh, I must have increased my vitality. Hey, Boston Brand, wake up! What are you fools doing back here? Come to pill for my boots and small clothes. I think that's a term for underwear, small clothes. We found your son. He... He was betrayed too. And we found part of his journal. It sounded like he regretted killing you. <laughs> Fat lot of good that does me. How'd he go out? He I fighting? We found four corpses near his. They were decapitated. Ha! Vandrid always did keep his sword nice and sharp. A lesson he picked up from me. <sighs> he's a backstabbing bastard, but... Knowing he's in Valhalla sets me at ease. Thanks. Oh! We did a good thing. I'm glad we came back here. That thief did not deserve the peace you gave him. Maybe so. Still, it feels good to help people. It does. Even the dead ones. <laughs> So much like your mother. Tears Shard, epic enchantment, bonus to all stats. Aww. You know, I once heard someone describe regret as the sharpest blade of them all. Actually, that's pretty good. I should use that. <laughs> I like I didn't even think of that. You know, the guy was a backstabbing, murdering bastard. But because he died in honorable combat, he went to Valhalla. Hmm. Which way? So apparently, most of Helheim was actually kind of okay. I mean it wasn't amazing like Valhalla, but it wasn't, you know, terrible or anything. Few people have told me that uh, the place where the really bad people go, like the adulterers, the murderers, the... Both of them mentioned that uh, adulterers went there. Thought that a curious detail, but I uh, can't say I honestly disagree with the sentiment. <laughs> yeah, there's a place called Nestrond in uh, Helheim. It is apparently a big building made entirely out of the spines of snakes. And that's where the really horrible things happen. Money! So I really could. I mean, it would take so much grinding. It wouldn't be probably wouldn't be worth it. But okay, what next? What next? Oh, that's right. I wanted to do a thing. Where to next? 
Yes, this will surely help uh, Kratos get the lingering chill out of his bones and probably soul. There's a timer to step through, it'll be fine. I don't know why I do that. I know it's a giant circle and I could probably just stand still. But I feel compelled. You know, to play along. Your brother says hi. And also that he regrets your personal hygiene. Back up and about. Didn't I tell you it'd be fine? Oh, almost forgot. Brock, this is our new friend Mimir. We've, We've met. Oh, why didn't you say so? He, he knows, knows why. why. I know why. You know you why. Quiet. No more of this. <laughs> you know what? I'm sorry I brought it up. No, I, I just love that. Like, no more of this. This is stupid. <laughs> uh. Can't you and Sindri just patch things up? Whatever happened couldn't be all that bad. You're family. Now don't be lecturing me about family. I ain't the one what forgot what our name stood for. What we made, the weapons we made were legendary across nine realms for more years than I can count. And it is a pretty good axe. You just don't throw that away on account of one bad... One bad what? You one bad nothing. Ain't you got somewhere to be? You made something and regretted it, didn't you? And it was your idea. I wonder if this is about Mjolnir. I also wonder... Oh, I can't talk to him now. I was going to see what happens if I press Y while these are in my hands, but I guess it'll probably work here. Oh, that's just silly. Well, once again, I'm ending this uh, the, the episode right here. Weird coincidence. But, uh... Hmm. I'm Burning Dog right. Face, and I will see you next time on Let's Play God of War when we go in there, head off to Muspelheim, and get all the warm we could ever ask for. <laughs> Later!